Aloha and welcome to our video about more about minerals. Um, the goals of this video are we're going to go over the five characteristics of minerals real quickly. We'll talk briefly about the processes that result in mineral formation and then we'll talk about how they can be classified. So what makes a mineral? Um, basically they have to have five different things about them and if all five of those criteria are met then it's considered a mineral. The first is it has to be naturally occurring which means that we find it out in nature. It can't be made in a lab, it has to be found in nature. We can recreate it, but it's not a mineral unless it's made in nature. It has to be a solid, so liquids and gases don't count, it's only solids here. It has to have an orderly crystalline structure, which means that it's gonna have a crystal shape to it, um, and how it lines up is gonna be based on its composition. Now, speaking of composition, it's going to have a definite chemical composition. So all samples of a mineral are going to be made up of the same elements, the same ratio. So it's going to have the same chemical composition. And then finally, they're generally considered to be inorganic. And we'll talk about in the lesson a couple of them that are organic in nature. But for the most part, that means they do not come from a living thing. Okay, so for it to be a mineral, it has to have all five of these characteristics. Okay, so now that we know what a mineral is, let's talk about how they form. Uh, minerals are gonna form by four basic processes. The first one is gonna be this crystallization from magma. If you can recall, magma is gonna be molten rock, molten material that way. And as it cools, these things are gonna crystallize out, and that's how we get these minerals. So depending on the composition of the magma, the rate of cooling is what mineral that we're gonna get that way. We also can have precipitation, and that means that if we have some mineral things suspended in water. So we have our water here, and you have some mineral products in here. As this water evaporates out, okay, as the water evaporates out or gets boiled off, then what's left behind is gonna come together and that's what'll form a mineral that way. So we can form it from precipitation that way. We also have pressure and temperature. So under extreme pressure, we can squeeze these atoms together and temperature can provide the energy needed for the reaction to occur and we can form new minerals that way. And then finally, we have hydrothermal solutions, which are really hot liquid solutions, hot water basically. And that's gonna kind of work like the precipitation and the pressure and temperature together and it's gonna just bring these hot solutions together and the reactions will happen that way. So we talked about what a mineral was, now we know how they form. They form from these four basic processes. Okay, the last thing I wanna to talk to you about are mineral groups. Basically, how do we classify minerals? And we classify minerals based on their composition. What are they made of? What elements can we find inside of them? The most common one are the silicates here, and the silicates are called that because they're made with silicone and oxygen, all right? The next common are gonna be our carbonates. And our carbonates have the carbon and oxygen here. We also have oxides, okay, and our oxides are simply because they have this oxygen. We have the sulfates and sulfides, and as you can guess from the name, these guys are gonna have sulfur. We have our halides, which are the halogens, and the halogens on the periodic table are one of the last groups. And we'll see these ones here, they all have one of these halogens inside of it. And then finally, we have the native elements. And the native elements is where it's an element by itself. And primarily, the ones we know familiar are going to be like silver and gold, um, carbon in the form of diamonds, so and graphite. So we can see when it's just the element, it's going to be called a native element. It's classified a little different. Okay, so that takes us to the end of our video. As always, good luck on the lessons, and we'll see you in the next video.